Hi there, this is Vadim, and in this video I would like to help you get ready for the employment assessment test. Before hiring the candidate, companies would like to make sure that they hire the most qualified person for the job, and they want to make sure that this person will actually succeed. To do this, organizations use pre-employment hiring exams to test candidates' skills and knowledge. In this video, I am going to share with you some examples of the questions we frequently see on the test to help you get better prepared. Let's go ahead and get started. Here's the quick question to keep you sharp and test your math skills. Bicyclists are traveling at the speed of 36 miles per hour. How long will it take them to travel the distance of 300 miles? You need to find out approximate value and select one of four possible choices. Choice A, 8 hours. Choice B, 10 hours. Choice C, 12 hours. And choice D, 14 hours. Take a close look to see if you know the answer. Let me give you a quick hint to help you. Total distance is calculated as speed multiplied by the number of hours. I hope it was helpful because I am moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. My answer is A, 8 hours. And here's why. To calculate the number of hours, we need to divide distance by speed. And 300 divided by 36 equals 8.33 hours, approximately 8 hours. That's why I got the answer A, 8 hours. Did you get a different answer? Please make sure to post your answer and rationale in comments. Here's a puzzling question which you might find difficult to solve. But the solution is really simple. You are presented with four scales and you need to calculate the missing number. First scale contains three pentagons on the left and number 90 on the right. Second scale contains one pentagon and two bagels on the left and number 50 on the right. Third scale contains two pentagons, one circle and one bagel on the left and number 90 on the right. And then the last scale contains one pentagon, one circle, and two bagels on the left, and a missing number on the right. You need to select the missing number out of four different choices. Choice A, 60. Choice B, 65. Choice C, 70. And then choice D, 75. Take a close look to see if you can do the calculations and come up with the right solution. On my end, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the answer, and obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. I think the key to solve this challenge is to understand what is being asked. You see shapes on the left of the scale and the number on the right, which means that the combination of the shapes is equal to the number. To solve the problem, you need to go from scale to scale and calculate the shape's value. Let's start with the scale 1. It has three pentagons on the left and number 90 on the right, which means that each pentagon has a value of 30. Second scale contains one pentagon and then two bagels, and the combination of these shapes equals number 50. We already know the value of pentagon, which is 30. All we need to do is divide the remainder of the calculations 50 minus 30, which equals to 20, by 2, because there are two bagels, and calculate the value of bagel, which is 10. On the next scale, we have two pentagons, one circle, and one bagel, and the combination of the shapes equals to 90. Let's do the math. 30 plus 30, which is the value of two pentagons, plus 10 equals 70, which means that the circle equals 90 minus 70, which equals to 20. Now we know the values of all the shapes. Pentagon equals 30, bagel equals 10, and then circle equals 20 and we can calculate the missing number. 30 plus 20 plus 10 plus 10 equals 70, which means the correct answer is choice C, 70. Did you come up with the same solution? If not, please make sure to post your answer and rationale in comments. And now I have a surprise question for you to try your skills. You're presented with nine letters of the English alphabet, and you need to build English business word by using each letter only once. The letters are O-L-S-U-O-T-I-N-S. -S. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the solution. And once ready, please make sure to post your answer in comments so I can give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck. 
Here's one of my favorite questions, which requires you to use your critical skills and imagination. You need to find the missing number, and you're presented with three different expressions. First expression is 13 multiplied by 13 equals 16. Second expression is 15 multiplied by 15 equals 36. And last expression, the one that's missing the number, is 17 multiplied by 17 equals missing number. You have four different choices to select from. Choice A, 56. Choice B, 64. Choice C, 72. And choice D, 81. Take a close look, maybe pause this video to see if you can come up with the answer. Did you figure it out? The answer is so simple, so when you learn it, you'll be very surprised. Because the correct answer, choice B, 64, is calculated very easily. The pattern here is that instead of using traditional numbers in calculations, you need to add the digits and then multiply them to get to the correct solution. So let's look at the first expression. 13 multiplied by 13 equals 16. In reality, you need to sum up 1 plus 3, then multiply at another expression 1 plus 3, which would be 4 multiplied by 4, which would be equal 16. For second expression, you need to add in parentheses 1 plus 5, multiplied another expression in parentheses 1 plus 5, would be equal 6 multiplied by 6, which would be equals 36. To calculate final expression, you need to add 1 plus 7, which would be equal to 8, multiplied by another expression 1 plus 7, which would be equal to 8 multiplied by 8, and it would be equal to choice B, 64. What was your experience solving this challenge? Please describe in comments. And if you're getting ready for the assessment test and need to get prepared, please make sure to check out the link to the ebook in the description of this video. As you might be well aware, the fastest way to learn and prepare for the test is by doing hands-on practice exercises. This is why we prepared practice materials for you to download so you can learn faster. All you need to do is to navigate to howtoanalyzedata.net slash resources. You can type this link directly in your browser or follow the link in the description of this video. Thank you for your endorsement, support, and patronage. And now, let's continue to get you ready for the test. Let's look at the very interesting question, which really makes you think. You're presented with three shapes, and the fourth shape is missing. You need to select the missing shape out of four different choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look at the pattern of shapes to see if you can come up with the solution. On my end, I'm not going to delay it, and I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you think differently, please make sure to share your answer in comments. As you might have guessed, the key is to define the pattern. And pattern consists of multiple elements. Pattern-defining items are circles, triangle, and checks. They look like Latin symbol V. If you look closely at the outer circle, it's filled with triangles and those checks, which are moving clockwise. The inner circle also has smaller circles inside. Let's name our items in the original pattern as item 1, item 2, item 3, and then the missing item we will name item 4. This will help us to define the pattern. Number of circles increments by 1 in items 1 through 3. For example, item 1 has 2 circles, item 2 has 3 circles, 1, 2, and 3, and then item 3 has 4 circles, which means that item 4 should have five circles. Well, guess what? I was so excited to select the final answer just based on this finding, but then I noticed that all choices A, B, C, and D, they all have five small circles inside. Which leads us to conclusion that number of checks between triangles defines the final answer. If you look closely, number of checks alternates from 2 in item 1 to 3 in item 2, then back to 2 in item 3, and should probably be 3 in item number 4. This is why the correct answer is choice B, because it has 3 checks in between triangles. Let's look at why other choices are incorrect. Choice A only has 2 checks in between triangles. Choice C has a pattern of 9 checks in between 2 triangles at the top and at the bottom. 
and choice D has a pattern of two triangles going one after another in between the checks. So this is my version, and if you have a better solution, please don't hesitate and make sure to share it in comments. And in case you're getting ready for the test, please make sure to check the links in the description of this video for additional resources. To get ready for an assessment test, you want to make sure that you practice with the tests that most accurately resemble the actual assessment. This is why we partnered with the best vendor in the industry, Job Test Prep, known for accuracy in their practice assessments. Job Test Prep tests are designed to simulate the actual employment assessment used by many companies. One of the key advantages of using Job Test Prep tests is that they closely mirror the format, content, and difficulty level of the actual assessment tests. To start practicing using job test prep assessments, please type the link in your browser howtoanalyzedata.net slash job test prep or use links in the description of this video. And now let's continue to get you ready for the assessment test. There is an amazing question to test your English business vocabulary. You need to build English business word using all the letters presented on the screen and you only need to use each letter once. The letters are G-O-I-S-L-T-I-C-S. -S. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. Because I want you to succeed so much, I'm going to give you a quick hint. The word represents the process of planning, implementing, and controlling the movements of storage of goods or materials from the point of origin to the point of consumption. Did you figure it out? I'm going to move forward and share with you my version of the answer. But if you have a better way or alternative way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. The answer is logistics. The word is spelled as L-O-G-I-S-T-I-C-S. To get better at solving these types of challenges, try to visualize the word and try different combinations. For example, if you look at original nine letters, you will see that if we start from the middle, you can start building the word L-O-G and then you build the remainder of the word to get to the correct answer. Do you have any other tips, tricks or techniques that can help you solve these types of challenges? Please make sure to post them in comments. And here is something that maybe you were not expecting. Here is a surprise question for you. You are presented with three images. All three images have evergreen trees on the berms. First image has number 15 under the trees. Second image has number 50, 50. And the third image has a missing number. You need to calculate and select the missing number out of four different choices. Choice A, 74. Choice B, 98. Choice C, 109. And choice D, 117. Pause this video for 10 to 15 seconds to see if you can calculate and come up with the solution. Once you're ready, please make sure to share your answer in comments. This would allow me to give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck solving this challenge. Here's an amazing question which tests your analytical skills. You're presented with the set of diamonds. Each diamond has other objects inside and you need to find the missing diamond, which is diamond number four. You have four different choices to choose from. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the right solution. Are you ready? Do you have the answer? Let me move forward and share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. As with a lot of other questions, the key to answer this question is to detect the pattern. If you look closely, you will see the diamonds filled with the arrowheads, triangles, which are moving in a different direction. The direction of the arrowheads rotates 90 degrees clockwise with every next shape in the pattern. For example, in the first shape, they move to the 12 o'clock position of the clock. Then they move to the 3 o'clock position and then to the 6 o'clock. So if you detected this pattern in the missing shape, the arrowheads should be at the 9 o'clock position. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. 
If you find the content of the channel helpful, you can help us by becoming a member. For example, if you are getting ready for employment test and might wonder how you can download the value pack, we'll give you one reason to download and save. And this is by becoming a YouTube member. For example, if you become Platinum member, you can download Employment Assessment Test Preparation Bundle. We also frequently publish exclusive content for members only to help you stay sharp and get ready for the test. To become a member, all you need to do is to navigate to howtoanalyzedata.net slash membership. You can type the link directly in your browser or follow the link in the description of this video. Thank you for your endorsement, support and patronage. And now let's continue and get you ready for the test. Here's one of my favorite questions where you present it with the sequence of shapes and you need to find the next shape in the sequence. What's unusual about this shape is that they resemble the molecules with electrons floating around the molecule and atom in the middle. You have four different choices to choose the missing shape. Choices A, B, C and D. Take a close look to see if you can find the missing shape. What you might consider doing is maybe pausing this video to see if you can look closely at the picture to have a better opportunity to find the missing shape. On my end, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. Let's look closely at the shape here. The shape consists of small spheres and the number of spheres increases with every shape. First shape has one sphere, second shape has two spheres, and third shape has three spheres. So we can reasonably conclude that the fourth and missing shape will have four spheres. Well, this is not much help here, because if you look at the choices A, B, C and D, they all have four small spheres. So our next step here to solve this challenge is to look at the bottom number. And to solve it, you need to find the formula to calculate the bottom number based on the incrementing number of spheres. For example, the formula to do bottom number calculation is 4 multiplied in parentheses number of spheres squared plus 1. So to calculate the bottom value for the first shape, we need to multiply 4 in parentheses 1 squared plus 1, which would be equal 8. For second shape, 4 multiplied in parentheses 1 plus 1 squared, which is 2 squared, which equals 4, plus 1 equals 4 multiplied by 5 equals 20. For the third shape, we need to multiply 4 in parentheses 3 squared plus 1 equals 4 multiplied by 10 equals 40. So to calculate the bottom number for the missing shape, we need to multiply 4 in parentheses 4 squared plus 1 equals 4 multiplied 16 plus 1 4 multiplied by 17 equals 68. This is why the correct choice here is choice C with bottom number 68. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Here's an amazing question to test your math skills. You need to determine how much money does clerk have. If you take a close look at the picture, you see that clerk is in the possession of dollar bills as well as the quarters. He is juggling dollar bills in the air and has quarters on the ground. Your answer will be one out of four different choices. Choice A, $12.25. Choice B, $16.25. Choice C, $18.25. And last but not least, choice D, $21.25. Please pause this video if necessary, do your counting and post your answer in comments. This would allow me to give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck. One of my favorite questions is where you need to calculate the missing value. You're presented with three equations and in fourth equation, the result is missing. The first equation is 23 multiplied by blue parrot plus red parrot equals 41. Second equation, 19 plus blue parrot plus blue paired equals 31. Third equation is 10 multiplied by blue paired plus red paired equals 72. And last but not least expression is 26 plus red paired multiplied by blue paired equals missing value. 
you need to select missing value out of four possible choices. Choices A, 83. Choice B, 90. Choice C, 98. And choice D, 107. Take a close look to see if you can calculate the answer. And on my end, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments so we can all learn. For simplicity, let's create variables. We will use B for blue parrot and we will use R for red parrot. So the first step here is to create and solve an expression. And the easiest one to solve is the second expression with two blue parrots. 19 plus B plus B equals 31, which means the 2B equals 31 minus 19, which equals 12. Once we solve it, we see that B, blue parrot, equals 6. Knowing the value for blue parrot, we can solve first expression. 23 plus B plus R equals 41, which means that 23 plus 6 plus missing variable R equals 41. After the calculations, R equals 41 minus 29 equals 12. Technically, we don't even need a third expression because having first and second expression allows us to solve both variables. But let's use third expression to verify that our calculations are correct. 10 multiplied by blue parrot B plus red parrot R equals 10 multiplied by 6 plus 12. 10 multiplied by 6 equals 60. 60 plus 12 equals 72. Now it's time to calculate the missing number. 26 plus red parrot multiplied by blue parrot equals 26 plus 12 multiplied by 6 equals 26 plus 72 equals 98. So the correct answer is choice C, 98. Hopefully you've nailed this question on your own and now know how to solve similar problems on the test. Thanks for watching. If the content was helpful, please give us a like and consider subscribing. This is the way for you to tell us that you need more content like this and we'll make sure to deliver it for you in the future. For links and resources referenced in this video, please check the description. You can also go directly to our website howtoanalyzedata.net to find what you're looking for and download the materials. We really thank you for your endorsement, support and patronage of this channel. Please leave feedback, suggestions or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.